a father is three times as old as his son. So we take the father's age as X. Age be X years. And then we have the son. The son's age be Y years. Now the condition given here is father is three times as old as the son. That means father equal to three times son. Now we know the father is X. So we say X equal to three times the son and the son is Y. So X equal to three Y. This is equation one. The next part of the sum says after 12 years. So after 12 years, now the father will be x plus 12. x was his present age. After 12 years, he will be x plus 12. And the son will be y. y is his present age. y plus 12. Now the condition given is after 12 years, his age will be twice of that of the son. So after 12 years, they say father will be twice the son. Now we know the father is x plus 12. So x plus 12 equal to twice the son. The son is here y plus 12. So that is y plus 12. We now open the bracket. So we get x plus 12 equal to 2y plus 24. So this is x plus 12 equal to 2y plus 24. Take x and y together. So the 2y goes on the other side. And you get minus 2y equal to 24 minus 12. x minus 2y equal to 12. So these are our two equations. Here is equation 1. And this is equation 2. So this was our equation 1. And this was equation 2. Now in the next step we substitute equation 1 in 2. Which means we have x plus 2y equal to 12. For x we put 3y. So we for x we will now put 3y. This is minus 2y equal to 12. 3y minus 2y is 1y. 1y equal to 12. So y equal to 12. And if you recollect, y was the age of the son. So son's present age equal to 12 years. And uh, by equation 1, we have x equal to 3y, which means x equal to 3 into 12. That is x equal to 36 years. Ten years later, A will be twice as old as B. And five years ago, A was three times as old as B. What are the present ages of A and B? So in this sum, we need to find the present ages of A and B. So we say let the present age of A be equal to X years and the present age of B equal to Y years. The first condition 10 years later that means 10 years later in the future A will be x plus 10. x was the present age and 10 years later would be x plus 10. And b will be y plus 10. y is the present, year, uh, present age, so y plus 10. And the condition given to us is 10 years later, a will be twice as old as b. So which means a will be twice as old as B. Now A we know is X plus 10. 
twice b b is y plus 10 so twice b y plus 10 then you open the bracket this is 2y plus 20 put the x and y's together so you get 20 minus 10 so x minus 2y equal to 10 so this is equation 1 next part of the sum is 5 years ago so 5 years ago that is in the past so a was 5 years ago was x is present age minus 5 and b was y minus 5 and the condition given to us is 5 years ago a was 3 times as old as b which means a was 3 times b now we know a is x minus 5 so that is x minus 5 equal to 3 times b b is y minus 5 y minus 5 now you open the bracket x minus 5 3 into y is 3y minus 15 so x minus 3y equal to minus 15 plus 5 so x minus 3y equal to minus 10 this is equation 2 so these are two equations equation 1 and equation 2 and now we will subtract the equations we have to change the sign so we change the sign here this cuts off minus 2y plus 3y is 1y and this is 20 so y equal to 20 and y was a present age of b so present age of b equal to 20 years now to find the age of uh, a we substitute y equal to 20 in any one equation say in equation 1 equation 1 was x minus 2y equal to 10 this is our equation 1 so for x we put x to y is 20 equal to 10 so x minus 40 equal to 10 so x equal to 10 plus 40 so x equal to 50 so present age of of a equal to 50 years the father's age is three times the sum of the ages of two children so we'll say let fathers let uh, present age of father be x years and then we have the sum of the two children so the sum of present ages of two children equal to y years now the condition given to us here is that the father's age is three times the sum of the ages of the children three times which means father equal to three times the sum of two children so we know the father is x so x equal to three times the two children that is y this is equation one the next part they say after five years so after five years we know the father will have grown by five years more so it will be x plus five and now the two children the sum of the two children will be it will be y which is a present and remember there are two children so each child will have become plus five then the other child also would have been plus 5. Each would have grown plus 5. So which is y plus 10. And they said after 5 years, the age of the father will be twice that of his two children. That means in this case, father will be equal to twice 
sum of two children. So father we know is x plus 5 here, 5 years later will be equal to y plus 10, 2 times y plus 10, this is the 2 here, 2 times. So x plus 5 equal to 2y plus 20. So x plus 5, we take the y on this side and here we get 15. This is equation 2. So x equal to 3y was equation 1 and the next equation was x minus 2y equal to 15 is equation 2. The next part will substitute 1 in 2 which means we have x minus 2y equal to 15 and wherever there is x I am going to put 3y because I know x equal to 3y so I put 3y minus 2y equal to 15 so y equal to 15 that is the sum of the ages of the two children here we need to find the father's age and if you remember in equation 1 the father's age was here x was equal to 3y so we put x equal to 3y so x equal to 3 into 15 so x equal to 45 so present age of father of father equal to 45 years. A is elder to B by 2 years. Here let present age of A be equal to X and present age of B equal to Y. Now if A is elder to B by 2 years which means A minus B will be 2 years because A is older than B which means now X minus Y equal to 2. This is equation 1. Next A's father F is twice as old as A. So let's put that. Now the father is twice A. That means father equal to twice x, a is x and here it's given b is twice as old as a sister s so b is twice the age of his sister which means sister equal to b by 2 and sister equal to y by 2. Now for the next part here the ages of the father and the sister differ by 40 years which means now father minus sister equal to 40 years. We know the father is 2x and the sister is y by 2. So minus y by 2 equal to 40 years. So these are two equations. So this was our equation. Here we take our LCM. So this becomes 4x minus y equal to 40. So 4x minus y equal to 2 you take on the other side. So we have 40 into 2. So we have 4x minus y equal to 80. I'll put this as equation 2. And we know our equation 1, which we did earlier, was x minus y equal to 2 years. This was the equation 1. Now we need to solve both this equation. We will subtract 1 from 2. Subtract 1 from equation 2. So we write equation 2 first. 4x minus y equals 80. And here we have x minus y equal to 2. Now we are subtracting, we need to change the sign. So this is minus, this is plus, and this is minus. We cancel this out. So we have 3x equal to 78. 
So if 3x equal to 78, your x is 78 by 3, and x is 26 years. We needed to find the age of A, and A we had taken as x, which is 26 years. The age of the father is twice the sum of the ages of the two children. So we say let present age of father be equal to x years. And the next, con uh, next quantity that we have is sum of the ages of two children. So let the sum of present ages of two children be y. The next part of the sum, they said the age of the father is twice the two children. So father equal to two times sum of two children. Which means father x is 2y. This is equation 1. The next part they say is after 20 years. So after 20 years, all would have grown older. The father now would have been x plus 20 because it is after 20 years. And the two children, the sum of the two children, remember we have two children, it would be y plus, since there are two, 20 plus another 20. So which is equal to y plus 40. And the condition is, the, his age will be equal to that of the two children. So father, so father equal to y plus 40. The condition given to us is father is equal to the sum of the children. So equal to sum of children which means y plus 40 equal to x plus 20. So we take all on one side so we get x minus y equal to 20. This is equation 2. So here we have x equal to 2y, one equation, and then we have x minus y equal to 20. Now substitute x equal to 2y in equation 2. So x minus y equal to 20. For x I put 2y minus y equal to 20. So y equal to 20. Here we need to find the value of x. That is the value of the father's age. So father which is x we know is 2y. So 2 into 20, so the father is 40 years.